at what stage in your building process should you go in for your biodigester construction go ahead and like this video after watching it this video is coming from the background of a recent video that i'm working on which is the biodigesters that the largest straw biodigesters that are constructed for this huge facility in spinters here in accra and it's coming from the fact that when i showed up on site to do the assessment and do and sign the contract and reach the agreement i had to tell the property owners that it's best they do plastering before the biodigester is constructed and then the debris that are in the compound a lot of the stuffs that will hinder and impede our smooth progress when it comes to the construction should all be taken out before the biodigester is constructed and that's because most of the time when you are approached by somebody to do a biodigester one of the key questions we do ask is to find out whether the house has been plastered and then some people ask why well, is it necessary is it something that should be of concern to you yes and no yes because if it's not a house that you are moving it immediately then it's best you you finish most of the activities around the house like plastering like doing the groundwork filling and all those stuff so that we know that when we are coming there there's less activities on the compound before the biodigester is constructed because from experience Let's say it's not a house that you're moving anytime soon, but you think that it's time for you to have the biodigester constructed and you do the biodigester before the plastering is done. The masons and stuff usually will put a lot of stuff on the, on the ground. That's something that affects either the biodigester top slab and weaken it or actually affect or lead to the biodigester, the top slab spoiling and you have to have it break down again. And in this particular case that that's prompting me to do this video even after agreeing to the to the plastering being done and everything and then we did the biodigester we still went back there and realized that the scaffolding has been put back on the biodigester for other works at the back end of the house of the, of the facility of the property and even though i'm not happy my team told me well it's not going to affect it it's block work and the top slab is equally strong and other stuff of course there are certain instances where biodigesters or a construction of biodigester must happen because the homeowner is moving to the place and then they need their biodigester done despite all the problems and the situations that are on the ground when you showed up there like plastering not being done or like the filling not being done and other stuff so in the final analysis you as a constructor must take into account how the final house outlook is going to be like how the filling is going to be done so that your biodigester does not disappear completely when the filling and everything is done and then you must also try and get a location whereby if later activities happen and then there are construction activities that happen on site it's not going to affect your work in the final analysis i, I do know from experience because there are times that i've done bio digester construction i've put in my best work i've done a complete job and then when the family was ready to move into the facility, I was called to come back and redo the top slab again or reconstruct the biodigester completely because it had been broken down by an activity that wasn't part or that was no fault of mine. It was either the fault of those who are also coming to work at the facility or simply because somebody was doing plastering and then they did not take care of what was there and then they put slabs on it, they put other stuff, they put heavy metals and heavy materials on it. And then it affected the biodigester in the long run. And I was called to have to come and have it read done. So all those things go in the long way to inform sometimes the decision that we make or we take as constructors to have the right thing done. And then so that it doesn't cost you a lot. Because sometimes when you are called back to come and have some of this work done, you are, you are not going to get paid for it because you did not tell the homeowner when we were doing the construction that look if i do these stuff if i do the construction at this time these are some of the replications that will come out when you decide not to use it immediately or because you also come to do other stuff there so my advice from experience is what i'm giving you if you're a biodigester constructor or you're somebody interested in having a biodigester constructor for your house minimize the activities on the compound activities like plastering activities like filling 
activity like taking debris out of the compound it's best to have all those things out of the compound before you construct the biodigester it lessens the the drama that comes later it lessens the problem that you have when you have it done and then because sometimes you get weak in and then probably you don't even call the digester constructor to come and look at it again and you are using it it will have an effect the long-term use of the digester will be affected in such a situation in other sense the outside work must be done but the inside work must not be done if you are having the inside work done then the, the tiling on the ground should not be done around the toilet seats because probably before you go there you don't want the situation whereby all the tiling has been done the seat has been fixed and then you go in and then you have to ask the toilet seats to be lifted up again before it can be matched to your your body digester there are situations that you go the toilet seats are down that's the pipes that are coming out to the inlet of the digester is down and you have to ask the homeowner to have it lifted up because one either the ground is not good and you cannot do a by digester at that level you will not be able to match it to the drainage system or you, you will not be able to get enough depth for your soak hole piece that must be done or the soak away so there are situations that you ask the homeowner do the tiling or do your accessories in the house but leave the toilet seats fixing don't fix them and they don't even do tiling around the toilet seats before you come in so those are some of the few things that you have to consider when you ask the question of when should the buy digester be constructed at a house the video next that's showing will explain to you for the how buy digesters work and how they are giving homeowners that need a peace of mind